guys, it's Katie here from Katie Creative and today we're going to be talking all about how to create a story for your brand or a brand message, even if you think that you don't actually have an interesting story. So I used to struggle with this one as well because I would see some brands out there and especially some personal brands and founders that almost have this life and death scenario, you know, that they were in this job that they, you know, was draining their life and then they quit one day and started a business and it all exploded overnight or you know maybe they were struggling with some sort of illness and that's how they started their food blog to help cure other people's illnesses um, and so you kind of think that you have to have this big epic story to talk about your brand and it wasn't until I realized that that's not um, you know how storytelling works that actually made me realize I could use storytelling in my own brand as well and storytelling is really just about using stories to get your point across. It doesn't matter about the story being this epic life and death challenge. It's the difference between, you know, saying, oh, I just went to the shop or saying, um, you know, I went to the shop and I saw these beautiful strawberries that were just freshly delivered from the market and it made me really hungry and I wanted to make this movie. It's the difference between saying, I'm a baker and I make really nice cakes and saying something like growing up I would be always surrounded by the smells of baking in the kitchen and that's the way that I actually connected to my grandmother and how we bonded and now I started my own bakery so that I can bring the same joy to other people's lives you know which one are you going to remember so it's really just about communicating in a way that's interesting and that people are going to find it memorable and anyone can do it. It does not have to be this epic life and death scenario. You can tell stories about even the smallest things. And the reason that a brand really needs a good brand message and story is that there is so many people doing the same thing. You know, there's a million graphic designers, there's a million bakers, there's a million um, architects, accountants, you name it. So what is going to differentiate everyone's you know, profession? It's all about you and the way you do things um, or your team does things. And it's about the story that you tell around that that people can actually connect to. So now that we've demystified what storytelling actually is, um, and you, now you know that it doesn't actually have to be that hard. So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips to really help you decide what your brand message is going to be and how you can create a story for your brand. Number one, brainstorm every single reason of why you started your brand. What problem were you trying to solve? Where did the inspiration come from? What motivated you to do it? That is going to be a huge part of your story because everyone starts their business for different reasons. For example, if you are a nutritionist and you struggled with celiac disease in the past and you know you started off because you wanted to get healthy, you wanted to change your way of cooking so that you could you know, cook foods that were good for um, celiac friendly, then that's part of your story. But also the benefit of telling this story is that people can relate to you and they can see that you've struggled in the past with something that you've overcome. They can see that you have changed your diet. You've been able to start one way and change to another. So people can relate to that and people like to hear these stories and know that, you know, maybe you can help them too. So write down every single reason, you know, why you started and why you're so passionate. Number two, think about what you might do differently from the competition. So, you know, it's not good to get too hooked on what all the competitors are doing, but it still is good to have a basic understanding of, you know, the typical scenario of your, of your competitors. So if you're an accountant, you might know that there is a standard process that accountants usually go through with their clients. And you can look at that and think, okay, well, how can I add value and how can I differentiate myself that way? You know, what are the pain points that people usually find with the traditional way of accounting? Like, is there something you can add to the mix that's going to make your methodology a little bit different? Um, it's going to make people's lives easier um, or just, you know, make it more of an enjoyable experience. And so by thinking about all of this, then you can really brainstorm some things you can add to your messaging that's going to differentiate you there as well. So for example, if you are a website designer, you might say that you create websites without all the tech overwhelm because you know it's known in the world of web design that a lot of times it can get very overwhelming and um, very technical and so if you were someone that did that in a way that addressed that that talked to people in layman's terms and made it really easy then that of course is going to be a point of difference number three 
what do you get complimented on the most? Now you might think, oh my God, I never get compliments, but I'm sure you definitely do. Just rack your brain and think about what people say to you. Um, and that is a great way of really seeing what you do differently because you might not see it that you do things differently, but other people do. So, you know, people might often say to you that you're a really good listener or, um, you know, that you're really uh, daring, that you aren't afraid to have tough conversations or, you know, it could be that you have a really nice eye for design. So just think about those things that people really compliment you on all the time and see if that's something that you could really add to your messaging as a business. So, you know, for example, if you are a lawyer and obviously lawyers just bill, you know, every in increments of a couple of minutes, um, maybe you could, if you're a really good listener, you could position yourself as a lawyer that actually wants to get to know you and has a coffee with all their clients and really gets to know their story before it goes into the three minute increment billing. So really think about what you get complimented on and if there's a way of adding this into the mix in your business and adding it as part of your brand story and your selling point. Now, once you've brainstormed all of these things, it's time to just go back through it. And sometimes it's good to, you know, sit with it for a day or two and come back to it. And then just start highlighting some of the things that you think really stand out, that are really different and that are kind of a strong, um, positioning tools. So something that will be attractive to your ideal customer. What out of these points of difference is really going to resonate with them? And then when you have that, it's time to add it to your story. So I hope that's really helped. And if you've got any questions, just comment below and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you back here next week.